Is that gonna work? Nope. Uh, oh. Nervous. Okay, so my name's Nick. Ah! Two years ago, I made a short film called For All the Marbles, and that film is in the link below. I suggest you watch it because it shows you what kind of person Bill is. This is hard. This is hard. Glad you're seeing that it's hard. Holy Moses. Can't give me as much of a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's gonna be good. Bill is running as a single issue candidate focused on the need to address climate change while promoting a legislative solution which has the capacity to begin to match the scale of the problem. Carbon fee and dividend. The climate is changing. Carbon emissions are driving that change. Emissions come from burning fossil fuels. So if we want to slow or even reverse the change, we must lower our fossil fuel use. By charging a fee on fossil fuels and returning that revenue to households as a dividend, we can do just that, starting a chain of positive effects. Fossil fuels become less desirable. Cleaner sources of energy become more competitive. The dividend creates millions of jobs. Carbon emissions go down, reduced air pollution saves tens of thousands of lives, and climate change is brought under control. We can make this happen, but enacting a carbon fee and dividend isn't in our hands, it's in theirs. How do we sway them? What can we do? We can use our voices to express political will and demand action. We must help our elected leaders work together. It's on us to tell them what we want as a group. Because when voices call out together, their impact multiplies. Government can respond to the will of the people, provided we tell the government what we want. And what we want is a livable world. So I'm promoting carbon fee and dividend, and that's uh, what I've been doing every time. And it's great. Um, this year I'm polling at 6%, and that's big considering the numbers that I've gotten in the past. The idea on this campaign is to kind of do it a little more my style, a little more adventure. Uh, so we're gonna be hitting the highest point in Utah, Kings Peak, on Thursday, and then uh, making our way all the way through the state by hiking and biking and finishing on the lowest point and trying to draw attention to the issue and... Yeah, come out and help me explain it because I'm having a really hard time. Pull up a chair. I'm trying to explain what we did last time and what you're doing this time. Um, you know, I was saying something along the lines of like, you know, Bill's a guy who's willing to do anything. This is hard. I'm glad <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. I think that what I um, try to say is that, you know, I, I realized that if I really wanted to stand up for what I think is really important, which is we need to address climate change, that I had to step out of my, completely step out of my comfort zone. Okay, so, right, so and stepping out of your comfort zone means what? Being in front of a camera, being, shooting it? It means running for office. Running for office. Yeah, try to create that change right. as an individual and in, employ what our country really was built on, which is for citizens to have the ability to, you know. This is really cool, by the way. Yeah, thanks. What yeah. is that? It's, a, it's one of those Bluetooth things. It's pretty yeah. badass. No, yeah. you can keep it on. No, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> I only take shit for so long. I did a lot of adventures when I was younger where it was sort of like, yeah, I'd be out in these amazing places and I'd be in southern Utah where you'd wonder if anybody had ever been there before. It's so vast and it's so amazingly beautiful. And, you know, it's, I enjoy it a great deal, but to be able to do something that I enjoy a lot, but do it with a purpose, I need to step out and speak up because it's so important to me. This is gonna be a lot more fun than the last one. How come? I don't know. You now? Yeah, I just, it's gotta be, because we don't have time for nonsense. And what I mean by that is Bill's trying to do this big adventurous thing, save the planet, travel across the entire state on foot, on bike, and I'm trying to document it, and I'm trying to shoot his day's travels and then upload it the next morning whenever we have Wi-Fi. Hopefully people will respect the challenge 
not only the physical challenge that you're doing, but also the challenge of documenting it real time. Why does it smell like burnt toast? I'm cooking some. Oh, okay. It's starting to smell. Oh, is it burnt? I don't know. <laughs> Get out of your way. The camera in the way. Uh, when are we leaving? We're leaving um, in an hour and a half. And your brother's coming over? Yeah. This is Hugh, and Rolf is the oldest. And we're all two years apart. There's a couple hiking sections. The first one is going to be through the Uintas, starting from uh, Henry's Fork. So I'm gonna start by riding from the Wyoming line to Henry's Fork trailhead. And then we're gonna hike up and over King's Peak, which is about 13.5. And- 13,500. That'll be, <laughs> I'll be with my, it'll be cool. My brothers are coming for that. And then we'll hike up and over King's Peak and then descend on the other end, down the south, kind of the south side of the Uintas. <clears throat> then I'll get on my bike again and ride across the state um, and pass through a bunch of different areas that are spectacular and then hike the Zion Narrows. Um, awesome. And then finish with the last day riding to the lowest point in Utah. You can count me in. And I can ask you about carbon fee. This is only going to become worse and worse. And right. So it's sort of a way to tie my true passion mm -hmm. uh, with up? standing up for what I believe is important. Mm -hmm. And I and then the idea I think is to try to inspire people to take take their stand. Mm -hmm. And if they're concerned about climate, you know, share it and be sure that people know that you care and that you're concerned because that's how we create change.